Any face? You got Curly Watts. Now? Curly Watts. As a celebrity fan, City is a massive club. Can you hear me? No. Can you hear me through the headphones? Yeah. Unfortunately, um, I can hear you. We're joined by Paul Gallagher. Um, many the of the MA show listeners will the be... Bye! Yeah, there he is. He's excited. Because he's here to break a record. He's a guy who views himself as a legend of the MA show. An MA show that when I first met Paul uh, nearly... Jesus, over two years ago now. Um, Is that I, long? Uh, yeah, I was a kid taking a chance. But now I'm seasoned. Oh. Chaz Palminteri, Bronx Tale, John McGinley Scrub, Steve Van Zandt from The Sopranos, Yap Stam, actual centre half. Yep, not, yep, 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 not a, not a delusional fan and not a conspiracy theorist. Paul Gallagher has begged to come back on the show because Be- he believes... Fucking he, begged to tell you what. He believes he has more. These headphones have got a dog tag on them. He, can tell you in London. He believes he has more to offer. Paul Gallagher, for the listeners who, who listened to you um, a long time ago when I was a novice, how have the last two years been for you? When you were a virgin. Mm. Virgin under ridiculous. Yeah, you you are now again. Come on, Paul, let's, 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 let's get the business. How have the last two years been? Uh, been shit for everyone, haven't they? What's your day-to-day been? Uh, the usual. A lot of gargle? No, 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 no. Seven pound a pint. Mm. Seven pound a shit pint in England. Are you fucking off your tits? A lot of house drinking. Not really. Even though I've got a couple of bottles of shampoo in the uh, in the fridge. How often would you drink? Uh, once a month, and only if it's cool. Do you exercise? Exercise now and again. What 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 kind? I walk around in circles until I just go fuck it. I've had enough of this shit. You're a guy who views the world through a cynical prism. Yeah. Well, come on, it's full of dicks. Is that your route to happiness, though? Do you enjoy being a bit of a cunt? I'm not a cunt. I'm no, just, but I'm a just nice cynical. Cunt. Yeah, that's what I mean. When I asked you to come on, you said to me, it depends. It depends if I'm arsed. I said, or not. it depends on what. You go, if I'm arsed. You, yeah. That just could have been, yeah, see you next week. It could have been. There was well, no need for it. Well, there is, listen, you're in Dalston, mate, which is the arse end of fucking mm. nowhere. It's not connected. To get here, you've got to, have, you know, you've got to go underground, overground, one balloon free. It's not easy to get to Dalston from the north end. What do you make of people who claim East London's cool? It's shill. But do you think Shittle. it's cool, though? Is it cool? As a guy who saw coolness in the front row seat in the 90s, do you think this is full of pseudo... It reminds me of... ...fuckbags who are pretending to be creative. Yeah, it reminds me of Cheetah Mill in Manchester. And you ask anyone where Cheetah Mill in Manchester is, and they just go, shithole. It is. But do you mean shit all in terms of the socio-economic situation? In the socio-economic situation. No, it is. Mm. look around. Have you, you've got fucking eyes, haven't you? London in general, I find. Is a shithole. It's full of arseholes. No, it's a shithole. With a few nice bits. It is. It always has been. Would you ever consider living back in Manchester? No, because that's a shithole. With a few nice bits. But Manchester <laughs> has a soul. Um, really? It's all the same. Liverpool, Manchester, London, Birmingham. Property developer... Paradise. It is. Where would you ideally live? On the fucking moon, with a big zap gun pointed at a load of dickheads down below going, fucking dodge this one. <laughs> How many people would you say you like? Uh, Genuinely. Tolerate. I think you, you tolerate a lot of people, don't you? But in you terms don't of like. like them. Nobody likes anyone. Everyone's a con. Everyone. There'd be four or five people in your life you like. Yeah, well, n- tolerate. You'd like your L one. Tolerate. I mean, really? Not a lot, <laughs> like a, to an extent, but sometimes fucking tolerate. Uh, well, uh, uh, yeah. when the Angelas come on and she's still talking about Damon De Valera, you feel like putting a, a pillow no, over no, her face. She, never, she never mentioned Damon. Fucking. She's a Collins head. De, De Valera, fucking traitor. She never mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a Collins head. T- I think she was more asked about. Have you got the side owner out of the fridge? <laughs> have we got enough? Have we got enough bread in for the visit? The priest might come. We need a cup of tea. That kind of stuff. You're not interested in him and de Valera. Have you? So you've never really liked anybody. Uh, I I don't like this tone of questioning. Where's it going? Do you like you? Uh, no, not today. The fact that I've had to come to the fucking other side of this shit hell to entertain a hairy face fuck mm. who took a gamble with me and now he's. Yeah. Well, now he's famous, now he's all bros. The cynicism, is it all banter or is it real? No, it's uh, it's a bit of both. Do I we... mean, I am cynical. But there is times where you're a, a sweetheart. Mm. There has to be. 
I mean, you're making out I'm a cunt. You I'm a told me wronging. You told me everybody's a cunt. They are, until proven otherwise. And I'm starting to fucking feel the same. That's because you're in London. But I want to be told otherwise. What I'm starting to think everybody I fucking meet is a cunt. <laughs> I don't trust anybody. Yeah. And my best mate's the mirror. Yeah. That's reality, you're telling me. Your mirror is lying to you, by the way. So you're telling me it doesn't get better? Um. Well, no. Not in this country. And not in this city. This city's run run by... Would you, would you be loyal to anyone? No. Uh, yeah. Does loyalty exist? No, I don't think so. Not anymore. I mean, everyone... People will pinch the... I was my mother would say, Did pinch the I.O. to your head? It's true. She was right. People would steal the eyeball out of your head. It's true. But when you put on a few tunes you like... Oh, you, you, have, you have a radio show. I have a you radio You play show, new yeah. music. There's uh, a reason you're doing it. Mm, music mm, makes mm, you feel happy. Mm. You're not taking the piss when you're listening to a good new band. No, no, like. no. Music never let you down. Music's the Ever. answer and football. Football lets you down. But as a City fan now who are buying their way to success... Oh, uh, 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 let's rephrase that. Buying... We are spending money that we've won from trophies. Nah. nah when you win trophies, nah, baby, nah, nah. you get nah, fucking nah, Paul, prizes. Paul, Paul, get That's real what happens. Get real me here. What do you mean real? All right, we're buying football clubs. No, because you're, you're, mm-hmm. ki- you're, you're kit back guys. You're your main road guys. Who? Do what? Do what? Do what? Do what? You guys... Felt better about City when it was Paul Dickoff and Sean Gopher than you feel now. Getting that dick off. No, I didn't. Did you not? No, I hated Paul. I mean, hate. But you know the Gillingham game? Yeah. Did that there. mean more to you than the European Cup final? Does it fuck? I was embarrassed we were in that division. And I was embarrassed at the Champions League final when I was stood next to Andy Morrison, the big fucking mongy looking defender. And he's like, oh, Mod City Champions League. I'm like thinking, what are you even doing here? So with a yellow fucking Divi shirt on. Does New City feel the same? New City, City, City. Is it? Yeah. The fans are the same. But your identity was founded on being the inferior team of the city who had great well, well, Colin well, Bell. Well, 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 we're inferior. We hold, we hold the attendance record in Bulletin. We won a trophy 50 years before Arsenal. No, just, just to United. before just, Liverpool. Just United, but I mean. United. No, but, 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 but uh, as far as said, equation, noisy never. Sometimes noisy, but it's going to be noisy. Listen, they just have more sponsors than us. No, no, Even no. the Glazers can't there's fucking ro- milk anymore, can there's, they? There's more romance, though. To, to, you go back to the babes, you go back to the Munich oh, air disaster. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, sorry we, sorry we didn't have a fucking air crash. Sorry, oh, well, I apologise hey, for hey. that. No, no, no. Hey, you, you come know. on, you brought Man it up. City's identity was being the kind of sole team. There's only one Jimmy Grimble, the Gallagher brothers, Curly Watts as a celebrity fan. Yeah. Huge heart, but huge mm. underachievement. Now the fact that you've Pep Guardiola, no, You've no, unlimited no, no, spending. No, 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 no. Hold on a minute. Does right. it feel the, the same? In the 30s, Does we were good. Does it feel the same? 50s, we were good. The 60s, we were good. The 70s, the start of the 70s, we were all right. And then we had a tumble. Of course, we did. Steve Daly and all that. We signed in for a million quid. We went down. We got relegated. Luton, all that fucking nonsense. We did go through a 20-year bad pitch, but we always knew, City fans knew, if someone with a few quid, just like everyone, just like Liverpool got done by the Moors and everyone else got some money, if they had a little bit of cash, it was there. And that's all the Sheik Mansur has when done. When Man City win the league. Well, who knows? No, but I mean, when, VAR, when consi- VAR awards the league, because yeah, that, yeah. that's where it's going. Consistently, though, when City lift that trophy, again, do yeah. you feel the pride as a Burnage man? Like, uh, what, where, do you know the well, way you, long, know, the, you long, know the way you want Mayo to win the Sam and you're still waiting actually. for it? Uh, yeah, of course I want City to win. But where does the but, pride come from? But Because um, it's resource-based success, isn't it? No, it's not. It's Listen... So Liverpool, all right, let's go. United have spent the same as us, if not more, and won nothing. Nothing. But and they've got least, to sell their entire fucking squad. They've at won least, nothing. At, we're, we're appalling. We're a disgrace. United are disgusting. They are the, Why? The, the Why same, are they disgusting? Because they don't believe in trophy win. They believe in commercialisation. Manchester United... Well, that's, that's the Glazers. Yeah. But at least we had the opportunity um, to be this important. And even our collapse story to have such notoriety because no, we, you've got we've won European eight. Cups off an academy team. Good. Once. You've got to be, you've got to finish. For me, you've got to go 18th and be relegated. Then it's more back here or down there. You've got to go down there. Your crowd's got to dwindle to 40,000, which will happen. Your stadium's falling down. You're getting battered from the under eight upwards. It's not sustainable. Ask your mates Liverpool. What do you think happens to United? I if, think you tumble. No, but from a non actual hatred point of view. I don't hate them. United fans, they'd give up. I know a few of them are like, oh, I can't watch them anymore. They're fucking shit. I don't know if you die hard reds. They just can't do it. Do you fear United coming back? What for? What for? They're not going to come back in Manchester. We, we've done them. You think officially? 
Yeah, I think we've done him. I think you think City's close to actually been maybe culturally more significant than Manchester than Manchester United. There's only one thing. Listen, fourteen trophies to nil makes you insignificant. We were insignificant for years. We took it. United were winning everything. Well, like, whatever, 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 whatever. But now they've got to take it. Be making out you're bigger and better. You've won nothing. But it's the famous Man United. So Georgie what? Best, Dennis Law, so Bobby Charles, we fa- Eric Cantona. We were the famous Man Eric City. Cantona. You guys are all aware of Cantona. Liam Gallagher got him in his video. Do, 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 do. You stole him from Leeds. From he was, he's, a, he's a red <laughs> legend. He's a red legend. But he took the s- theatre drinks on his back. Were Leeds. you insulted when he did Liam Gallagher's video? No. Did you try to talk no, him no, out of it? No, we, we, we were. Uh, I met him. Well, briefly met him in Paris. He's all right. Don't mind. I don't mind anyone that leaves you. Now. Was he godlike? No. What? Because he put his fucking shirt up. And because he conducted the orchestra. Oh, really? For them, did they all go wild? He played football like a music conductor. Did they? Did they? All, did they all shake their big white white butcher coats that they wear? They weren't far they're, off it. They're trendy with the patches on. Eric Cantona. No was a songs performer. United. But when, when, you Liverpool. Met, when you met him, <coughs> did you respect them? I'm cool with everyone. But when you met the king, did you bow down? We didn't. No, we didn't bow. We didn't shake hands. It was more of a, you know. You know, you know, you know the one where the, the eye goes up. It's a bit of a. Mm. So that's the same what happened with Ringo Starr. The same thing. All right, that's it. Then fucking like, go. Oh, you're amazing. But, but how did the shit. king get scouted to do the video for? I don't know. You're gonna have to ask the other fella. I don't. I'm not involved, mate. I do my own thing. I stay away from it as much as humanly possible. I can't remember in my cynical self yeah. around the happy people because not allowed. Yeah, do you hate? Talking about that shit, it must yeah. get it must get fucking exhausting. annoying, mate. I mean, how many years is it now? Thirty. Yeah. I mean, how many times you can you say? Uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 yeah, it's just excruciating. Yeah. Uh, would you get asked daily, every second day, by just members of the public, what's the story with the boys? Uh, no, but when you're out in the pub, they'd be like, "All right, the first thing is hello, acknowledge me," and the second thing is. Oh, fucking, oh, you know what I mean? It's like, why don't you go and fucking ask him? What are you asking me for? And do you think we're zipped together? When you're that close to that level of cultural importance, do you find it pathetic that people idolise celebrities? Because you're talking about Ringo Starr and Canton, and I get that. Do you find it weird that people give a shit about your two brothers? I mean, listen, I get it. There's no stars in this country. I get it. And that happens to be true in my family. I get it. Doesn't mean I fucking want to talk about it to... So Dickhead at the bus stop. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. mate. I yeah. fucking like or someone co- sees you on a video and comes up and can I have a picture on me shit. Yeah, get, get a new better one than that. Well, how much I of like a bollocks f- do you give? No, I don't care. I just like to float around invisible. Yeah, you know what I mean. And people probably overrate it. It probably doesn't take up as much of their fucking life as you'd even think. It's a yeah. fallout. I mean, if, you, if you're out, if you're out with Liam and he gets stopped and. Someone will ask for a picture, or they'll insult me and go, "Can you take the picture?" Yeah, well, why I'll don't look, you love them? And I'll look at them. Why don't you love them? I'll look. I'll look at them. The people who the person who asked me with a scowl, as if to say, "Are you fucking?" Does Liam nearly go? Don't I, I name the fucky phone. <laughs> but yeah, the odd time I'll just go to get rid of them. Give me the fucking thing. Bang! I hope it's fucking shit. We'll do it again. Do 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 do. <laughs> fucking see ya. That didn't come out good. Asked. Don't fucking ask. Did you us. find yourself isolated though? Because you're all, you're all, you're all a bit self-aware. You're all a bit cynical. But no. when two fuckers get that level of fame, do they ever get a bit too big for their boots and you have to rail them back in and go, "What the fuck are you doing?" No, because I don't care, and neither do they. They I, don't give a shit. That I don't famous. care what they do, and they don't care what I do, unless I overstep the mark. Then they all care, don't they? They'll fucking on your case. What do you mean by overstep the mark? Talk too oh, much. Say yes, some say something that. The hangover didn't agree with. Yeah. And then, then it's fucking. Da, 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 da. It's like, what the fuck? What's the matter with you? Yeah. Oh, not got a sense of humor today, have we not? Anyway, can we talk about something else? It's all, it's all getting rather hot in here. Yeah. I'm sweating my tittle arches off. And they're nice, considerable tits to be sweating off, I can assure you. Is it weird to be associated with something you've no fucking control over 24 uh, fucking 7? Well, yeah, I mean, it is and it, is and it isn't. I don't care. And that's why I, I, I will come across as. Sometimes rude, yeah, because you have because to. I'm like going. You fucking have to fuck off, really. You have to. I mean, what are you going to be? The guy who's going around claiming you're the Gallagher's uh, brother? That guy's a fucking disgrace. I mean, You've I had, absolutely I mean, no it's, option. It's, this, this is off topic, but I had a funny get a DM yesterday, and it's, it's people. I know I understand people are shopping around for tickets. This is the old firm game on this weekend? Yeah, and some fella don't know who he is. Fucking direct DMs me and goes, "Eh, I'm looking for. I never missed a Celtic game this season." 
apart from the away one in such and such, I'm really looking for a ticket for the semi-final. You've got contacts. Can you get me a ticket? Yeah. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look as though I've got contacts at Celtic? <sighs> I've got friends. I can't go ring up and go, hey, excuse me. Uh, and Poster Cognu, I would like two tickets yeah, for, the for, old, for, for some film, irrelevant for some cunt fucking who hasn't cunt. I've never met in my life because he's not missed a game. He's like, go and away. And he's asking me because asking Champagne me. Supernova came out the arse of a guitar. He's, exa- he's, you know what I mean? He's asking me because he knows we're Celtic fans or blah blah or were. I the Celtic thing's a bit overrated though. Celtic? You pick and choose that one. No. You're not a massive Celtic guy. I used to go to see Celtic in the, in the 80s. You're a city fan though. Yeah, but we used to, go, we used to run buses to Glasgow. Me and my friend. What do you mean? Minibuses. What do you mean, run them? Run them, fucking like hire them, jump in, go up fucking Glasgow, go and see Celtic and come back again. Usually battered. Not like physically. Yeah. M- mentally. And, and but so you can't, you, the, my belief is that Scotland, first of all, is too close to England. And f- second of all, you can't have two teams. You can give a <laughs> shit about one football team. It takes your heart or it doesn't. Fucking Celtic, do you care? Yeah. It's the Irish, isn't it? I mean, I could ask you about Irish rugby. Do you fucking care? No. Because I don't give no. a balls about them big fucking divs running around in a fucking you know, yeah. cauliflower ears. Do you ever watch it? No. Never? <sighs> the odd time when they played England. But if Ireland know. got to the World Cup final, would the Gallaghers get together and watch that shit? No, what the fuck? Rugby don't care about rugby, mate. Would you know who Brian O'Driscoll is? Yeah. 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 Ron Nogara? Yeah. Paul O'Connell? Big lump, yeah. John Hayes? F- yeah, big chunky Would you, you know John Hayes? I mean, I know who they are. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I mean, if they walked past me in the street, I wouldn't fucking, I wouldn't know them. Why but don't you care about rugby? Because you think it represents the upper middle class. It, it does. But they're brave cunts, really, aren't they? They get stuck in. If you're looking for values in sport, those cunts get hurt. I mean, but you've got, I mean, you've got to be big to play it, haven't you? You can't be a midget. The one or two positions on the pitch are low. Yeah, for. but wing, wingers, little fucking But in terms of, if we're fans of athleticism, the you'll culture of the sport you'll is You'll be appalling. talking Irish cricket next. No, I won't Fuck do that. Sake. And if I do do that, Paul Gallagher, I want you to bring in a fucking machete. Gallagher. Fuck Gallagher. everybody Come on. Played. Don't be fucking it up, you Dublin. Fuck no, I Gallagher. Want, I thought you wanted Gallagher. No, Gallagher. I dickhead. think there's more romance to me pronouncing a Gallagher as an Irishman. Gallagher sounds like I'm just talking to a taxi man in Dublin who's you telling are. me stories about how the How are you going, yeah. Bath? There's something more to that. Yeah. But what I will say, Gallagher. Is it, it's a university sport. Have they played it in my school. And it's, it wasn't a posh school, the, it was just no, a Catholic school. It's the same in, in, in Ireland. The big lumps that play. Well, let's it. break down the sport. There's cons beating the shite out of each other for our entertainment. If we're into sport. I know. I p- prefer that in Ghana, though. I mean, that's. They're proper. not touching each other in Ghana. They are. How? They are sometimes. Do you not think the Ga players overrate their toughness and it's just part of the whole Irish kind of mythical shit? Yeah, but it's also an amateur sport. If they were getting paid for it, I'm sure there'd be more. Be like Aussie the rest, rules. The rest, like Aussie the, rest rules. the rest would make it less lenient. I mean, if they were getting paid for it, you wouldn't be allowed fair shoulder. Gaz essentially contactless. It's basketball with a bit of kicking. That's because people are interfering. It. it should be like Aussie rules, and that's like you know, that's contact. Yeah, but you can call marks in that. Hi, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But you, uh, you, Dave, you, no, hold wrong fucking that, word. That You've got to be Mark. Yeah. yeah who, no. Who's who's AD? Who? No, yeah, yeah. But I'm oh, saying the... I'm calling Mark. Mark. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've caught the ball. We've got the mark. Definitely. I'm going to kick it along to Steve, 100%. 45 yards with a 37 degree angle, yeah. and you can call Mark as well. Hi, Mark. They're a fascinating monologue. Fucking but nonsense. They scary. They're scary to be. Nonsense. Around. Fucking get the ball, put it in the net, put it over the bar, put it wide, put it where it's meant to be. How Score passionate points. are you? Because occasionally you do um, nonsense. Ab- abuse me. Yeah, okay. About oh, Dublin no. Ga. Oh, yeah, because you. Fuck it. Come on. But I'm not a guy, guy and I appreciate uh, well, uh, it. I know you're not, because yeah. you're a push boy. Uh, you, you go down this route once an episode, and I appreciate it. Um, it's an <laughs> he, opinion. he appreciates the abuse. Yeah. <laughs> that's, is that a, is that's, a posh, that's how a posh would respond to mm. posh abuse, is it? What do you want posh. poshies to do? Get angry? No, we well, are not going to do that. What are you do? Throw, throw your toys We'll do nothing. So what do, what do you want us we to do? We do nothing. What do you, exactly. What do you want I us mean, poshies just, to do just ex- when we are fucking accused of being posh? I can't even see your face anymore now. You've got, you've got a big... You've got to get turn that mic round. I mean, I can't, I can't abuse a guy I can't see. I want to ask you about male guy. Yeah, uh, not, not that I give a shit. I don't mm. care about age and how fucking Shay and Kitty and how Connor. I don't, I, mean, I don't care. But does Peggy Gallagher watch the games? No, I, I always tell her the score afterwards. I say Mayo won. She goes, "Oh, that's nice." Does she care? She did used to care. I remember we went to a beach on holiday once. Not a place to take your mother, by the way. Did she go? Yeah. We, we, well, um, Mayo were playing Kerry. In who the else park. went? Oh, my auntie. Was me, there ecstasy? Auntie Was there ecstasy? From tip, tip around. Did you take ecstasy on no, the trip? No, no, we didn't. But anyway. So you find a bar, Mayo playing Kerry in the final. Yeah. Come on, we'll go and watch Mayo in the gar. Yeah. They got to beat these Kerry guns yeah, yeah, yeah. at some stage. Yeah. Fucking Kerry win again. 
I mean, I remember we're going mother, back to the Gooch Cooper days here, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, my mother would say, them Kerry fuckers, they always beat us in finals. Yeah. And then fucking Dublin roll up. So, yeah, I think she just stays at home and goes, I don't want to know the score. Did we, did we fucking lose again? <laughs> Mayo to win the Sam or City to win the league next season, if well, you win it this year. Well, we, we've won the league loads of times, so, yeah, Mayo, Mayo win. I mean, just to fucking, just to, come on. I'm 56. I've never seen you win. I mean, the odd little fucking league thing, but n- nothing. What do you think the problem is? Resources? No. You've a lot to say no. about Dublin Ga no. and the... And no, the, no, the, Dublin the, obviously have... The, the you have a huge Dublin. problem with Dublin Ga, even though they're the city of GAA. Uh, what do you mean city? You didn't win fuck all with that Arnott's on your shirt, did the you? The city didn't win fuck all with Sean Goulter up front. No, 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 no. Still beat United. That's, 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 that's yeah. rat boy. Yeah, yeah, but United teams that were in uh, competing for leagues in European Cups. Um, oh, City and Dublin are, are quite similar in not just kit but in uh, ideology. Uh, no, this is resource based success. Is, 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 you can't hate Dublin and support City. That's my take. An, That's just my take, am- PG. Amateur sport, American finance. Come on. What do you mean by American finance? A, what the fuck is AIG? American Intelligence Group. Yeah. Well, that's a nice lo- local Dublin fucking... I mean, you added local support. So what do you want to happen? You, you had Arnott's. What do you want to happen? I'm just saying you've used outside money in an amateur sport what to, do you want to, to happen? make yourself what have do you bigger want to balls. Happen? So what do you want to happen? I want you to be fucking... Well, not demoted or split. I just... Anyway, you're in Division 2 now. Yeah, but fucking what do you think mega. the solution is to Dublin dominating GAA? Well, you're not dominating anymore, are you? What's it? Eight out of the last ten. All I'm not. A, I'm not well, a massive well, GAA no, guy. No, you, you didn't. Six out of eight. You didn't do it. Like, and Mayo messed it last year when they got beat by Tyrone. I mean, fuck it. All the fucking teams to lose to them. Ginger red hands. And fucking. Did you watch the final? Yeah. yeah did, you go yes. to the, did you go to the blizzard for it? No, I avoided my only Tyrone mate afterwards. He's like, you don't want to see me now. I went, shut it, you. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they are on your case. You I, get, I get it from everyone. Get it from scousers. Get it from fucking people from Tyrone, Doubt, Dublin, Kerry. It's just one of it's, it's a, you know. Sometimes you just have to say, just win it once. Once. I'm not it, asking for fucking ten on the trot. Just one in my lifetime. Because they're the shadow man. If Mayo did win it, yeah. Was there something wrong with the mic? Yeah, it keeps spinning. Yeah, there should be a guy who's no, orchestrating it's, that. He's, he's, he's heavy. He's, the mic is too heavy yeah. for the microphone stand. You need, a, you need a proper producer when you're doing uh, this kind I mean, of content. Come on. I mean, I can turn it upside down. I we just don't have one. He's. T- as you can see, we'll get one in. As you can see, it's yeah, yeah. It's no, fa- it's a try. It's, it's falling now. Yeah, so you're I'm making it worse. You're making it worse by by touching it. Do you, yeah. do, you me, do you want me to put my chair down so it, I, I become a midget? And I know I'm not allowed to bring it up, but maybe just do a Liam Gallagher. Uh, I remember, <laughs> maybe just put the hands behind the back. I'll just slouch. Fucking yeah. There we go. I'm now a midget. I'm back to being five foot one. Paul Gallagher, <laughs> do you think if you tried, gave a fuck? It'd be nice. Can you sing? If you were doing a karaoke, you needed to do it. Yeah. There was a hundred grand at the end of the tunnel. Could you bang out Bruce Springsteen, or could you bang out an Oasis cover no, and be pretty good? I wouldn't do that. Do you have? Yeah, I, I don't know care you wouldn't do it. it you, no one says you care, but in terms of your ability, of course, it's genetic. I could sing. Yeah, can you sing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in key, mm. would you only do it in the shower? I don't do keys, are kid. No, no, no drug addicts. Yeah, uh, no, don't even, don't sing anymore. You got you got two fellas in your in your family that sing. What the fuck are you doing singing? I'm not saying, could you? I could, yes. You're not some crow. I choose. I've mates. Mm. You hear him sing? The fucking babies are crying next door, man. There's, there's windows breaking all around the no! street. No! There you go, that one. There's, it's there's just Cameron one. Diaz and my best friend's wedding. I mean, yeah. No, I can sing, but I choose not to sing. Can you play guitar secretly? No, I don't do that shit. That's can you I, secretly? No, I... You've I, definitely tried. That's why I give it to no. But you've picked up the bastard no, before I, once I or twice. I give it to him when I was seven. I was like... Do something with that, or my mother will kill me for wasting money on a fucking guitar. Okay, so you've got the guitar into the gaff. <laughs> yes. She's annoyed about the money because she's Irish yes. and she's Catholic. They don't like yes. spending. Yes. And you convince an old, an old Gallagher Have to it. become the John Lennon of his generation. Take it away! Give me shit off my what mummy! Ridiculous influence to have on culture. He is a fuck. I mean, listen. No and then one. Liam used to play the violin. Yeah. <laughs> you should put that in the parka. Of all the ludicrous fucking instruments to play... I want to play the violin because everybody was playing the guitar. Why don't you just play fucking football? I get it that people play guitars at school when they're six and seven and you want to play a different Were you ever afraid of Liam Gallagher in his tough days, mid-90s, when he was proper fucking rock and roll? No. No. Fucking baby brother, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. afraid of him for? Get in in the cot, be quiet. (laughs) No, but I'm just saying, it's still strange now that he picked up a violin. I mean, what do you want to be, the Nigel Kennedy? For me, the music's very good. The banter of the Gallagher's made the massive... Yeah. Where's the humour come from? Peggy must be funny. She must be cracking a few gunslingers. Mm. 
She must get it. Yeah, she's a bit, she's dry. Yeah, when she's you're mocking her, she must get it. Yeah, well, you don't want to mock her too much. She'd be like, get out of here. She's, you know, she's dry, isn't she? But there's a humor that is the undertone of the game. Oh, yeah, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't be going toe-to-toe with her. She'd, she'd, she'd tell you, sit down, you! Well, she'd, <laughs> she'd point out your flaws, I like every great she, mother she, would. She don't fuck about. She would make you feel like shite if she needed to. Oh, yeah, she can do that. She's good at that. We we, 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 we like... Our family's very good at the silent treatment. Oh, okay. You say one thing, <clears throat> you're on the bench for three months. You don't know what you've said, but you're like going, I oh, can feel it's rather cold in here. Yeah. <laughs> you can't... Have you spoke to... Where we bring your mother and... Have you spoke to the other fella yet? There'd be no, be no so names. They'd be, they'd be all called the other fella. Yeah. Have you spoke to the other fella? Yes. And then, uh, That's no. an Irish way well, of dealing yeah, with the, the other fella. You even find that in personal fallouts <laughs> yourself. You're in good mates and there's a fallout within a group of it's, mates. It's, have you spoken to other? other yeah, there's... I mean, Irishness has nearly caused the ridiculous level of this fallout. It's, it is very bizarre. And you don't because know... Because there's a betrayal of humor. Well, how no, how no, wasn't exa- banter exa- saved exa- it? Exactly. How wasn't banter exactly. saved Exactly. Serious cons getting involved mm. with 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 the crack. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I don't understand about how wasn't someone joked it off yet? Exactly. I mean, uh, the crack is 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 the crack. Yeah, do ten more. And, and when someone fucking betrays the crack and goes, "I'm serious," yeah, offend, yes. offended by you, I find I, I I'm offended that you're fucking offended. Yes, how about that. Yes, you dickhead. That is the story here. Yeah, yeah and yeah, my, my 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 family can take be, be very. Seriously offended at little, little things you wouldn't even imagine. So that's what it's some <laughs> one day we're not going to name names, but decide to be offended. Betrayal of the crack. I call exactly. It. Good, good name for a band. The betrayal of the crack. The betrayal of the crack. It. I'll be lead singer. We'll do Wheelands. We'll do workmans, Fucking and then we'll wheel. dwindle out. We'll dwindle out. Until then we'll have an after party. We'll, we'll be back on the mics in three years. We'll do an after party in Lily Bordellos and think it's the 90s. Have you ever, have you ever been at an after party in Lily Bordellos? Yeah. You should have taken a machete in. <laughs> well, this was the 90s. I've got a few good stories from there. I know you have opinions on the Celtic Tiger. Mm. Dublin betrayed its entire ideology in that six to eight year period that was the Celtic Tiger. We started thinking we were a major city. You're a major city for three star hotels. You're fucking unsurpassed. Yeah. I mean, how many... Three stars do you need in the one place? Oh, you don't need more than we got. <laughs> you got about 43 star hotels. 46. Nord- 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 46 Hotel. on paper. Northern New Hotel in Dublin. Three star. Yeah. Accommodation. What's your you get a fine fry in the morning. It's like, what the fuck? Is there no thought police living in that city? The betrayal of the crack is such a fascinating... Um, why does it happen? It's because people... Is it think- women? No, a woman comes in. She's people think you a people side think of her their art. shit don't stink, don't they? They're like, Ugh. oh, you think that they, they think that you good for the crack? No, no, they've they've got notions now. I mean, the Celtic Tiger, perfect example. Yeah, I have notions. That's what I'm talking about. The Celtic Tiger was symbolised by a lot poor. of people who came from working class backgrounds. Suddenly, shifting on a property, twenty million in the bank account, the crack's gone. I'm now a rich guy. They I forget know. their past, and that's why it all went fucking in their face. I have notions. They, yeah. You can't speak to me like this anymore. I have notions. So, so, so Noel Gallagher... Can't speak to my mom. He's got notions too. So Noel Gallagher thought he was the superstar. No, listen. He is a talented motherfucker. Oh, he fuck writ- me, he, he is. He written the songs that you all sing. Adore them. And fucking annoy me on a Friday night in a pub when I'm fucking... Someone's going, I'm on the ball. Shut yeah, yeah. up, fuck up. But, but that li- kind of vibe. I didn't ask for this. So Liam just stayed real. Well, we, well, we kind of all stayed real. But Ga- Liam Gallagher people, didn't know what he was talking about when he actually started thinking because Liam Gallagher was kind of putting on a show was kind of funny. I'm a rock and roll star, and Noel mm. started thinking he was an intellectual. Well, this is this is what happened. Money changes everything. Money changed Dublin. Money changed Ireland. But Money why did nothing fucking... change you? Because I can't be bought or sold. Do I look like a sheep? But you stayed in the cheaper corner. You could have played <laughs> devil's advocate years ago. I could have. You could have played both sides. I could. Well, no, no, yeah. I remember Richard Ashcroft saying to me once. He went. And this was before we... Anyway, he went, um, are you still fucking, like... Are you still putting out the fires? I went, yeah, I'm Red Adair. Remember Red Adair? The fella was in the middle of the North uh, Sea yeah, with the fucking... Uh, yeah. Putting out the wildfires yeah. on, on the, on the yeah, ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I felt like Red Adair for a few years. But no, not anymore. They, they can put out their own fires. I remember, yeah, I remember Richard saying that. But you stayed on one side. No, not really. I stayed in the middle. You stayed in the middle, but the I stayed middle. In, the, in the middle till someone ran me over with a, with a fucking 4 by 4 and then I had to crawl on my hands and knees to safety. Admirable. Still here, aren't I? Yeah. And you still want to talk shit to me twice. Yeah. How long do you plan on being here? Uh, fuck knows. Until the fella upstairs say, Can't What's not- your thoughts on mental health? I'd fuck them. Bullshit. 
Car number nine. Do you believe in depression? No. What no. do you think depression is? A construct uh, of modern times it just means you're a bit down you're supposed to be down for half your life anyway. I just think people should just give up drugs if they're depressed. Drug, the drugs don't work. Well, what? no, I just think they don't work anyway. They, what about a, a um, dru- a antidepressants? Drug? No, all the same. You try them? No, what for? Mm. No, I just asked you. No, I'm not depressed. No. no, no for, listen, if you go to a doctor for a... a Sorry, doctor. I'm feeling very down. Mm. Why don't you? They fucking love it. They are legalized drug dealers for the government. They're going fucking yes. mega. Yes. You're down. Have all these tablets. Yeah. And because you're down so much, we're going to increase it. So yeah. you'll be fucking permanently down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love it. Stay away from two things in life doctors and coppers. They fucking both work for the same bitch. Queen Lizard. I don't understand it. Personally, I mean, you should know now. Living, living over in the shittest part of London, yeah, it's fuck fucking, me, no, no, fuck it's, me. It's, it's like I'm living, done. I'm it's done. Like, it's like living in uh, one flew over the cuckoos. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. like having that bed permanently on the street in London with all the fucking mental patients around. You're going, I'm not as mad as you. I'm fucking noble. I'm from Dublin. Yeah. No, you're not, because you're here. You're with us. You're fucked. I bet there's no good Irish bars here either, is there? Nothing. Fucking gone. I bet they're no. all coffee shops. No, the, you can't get it. You can't get a Guinness. I mean, I I, I, got, I got the shittest coffee there before while I was waiting for you to turn up. Oh, you aren't waiting. You it you arrive early. You've you, that the Catholicism's never left you. You're told three o'clock. You're here at one thirty. You did this no, no, last no, time too. No, no, no. You're an early guy. Uh, no, I said it to him on the no, way. I go Gallagher's gonna be early. No, yeah. Well, the Uber driver was uh, uh, was a Italian Ethiopian. And I was fucking confused how that, how that worked until he told me that Italy had obviously taken control of Ethiopia many, many moons ago. And his granddad was Italian. We got chatting anyway. And he was cool. He says, you need to go up there. I says, I need a coffee first. So I got a four ounce coffee, three quid. I went, are you taking that? Where's the fucking other two ounces here? Yeah. I mean, four, six is about perfect, but four is like fucking. Uh, you used to think. You're just making everyone's experience worse. Stop complaining about the price. But when you think about it, there's a cunt who's operating that business. Mm. There's a cunt who's deciding to charge six eighty for a fucking beaver town. And I Shit think as well. me and you IPA. should meet up in three IPA. days. We should go in with IPA. two guns and we should take two years in prison. Yeah. India Pale Ale. Yeah. Fucking garbage. Yeah. Because, because someone's drawn a fucking cartoon, Sesame Street, on the yes. side of a can. The can is four quid. The shit inside it is a quid. Yes. And then someone else has put tax on it. It's graphic designer It's bollocks. called fucking crap. So you're a straight up Guinness when I've, you walk into a No, no, I've not drank Guinness in the UK for 18 months. I, I refuse to touch it. Just every time you hear they say, we've got the best in, in the world. You take it. It looks great. Everything looks great. It's aesthetically looking sexual. But as soon as you fucking take two pints in, you're like that. <sighs> Pass me the gut lot. The gut lot's kicking in. And if you go to six, you're fucking asking for it. Yeah. There's nothing, no worse hangover than a Guinness one. This Especially is like, with shit Guinness. I'm a single guy. I, I think really? that... Uh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me. No, no, uh, but listen. Yeah, well, you've got, you got the air now, haven't you? I've got the barnet. you got the... I mean, you're all in black. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm trying, is what I'm trying I mean, to say I mean, to you, Paul. The only thing you're missing is a Harley. Yeah. You might have to settle for a Suzuki. No. <laughs> oh, no. I'll, I'll, or a Honda Fit. Listen, I'll just do a bicycle. Oh, oh yeah, with no brakes on. When I'm, is it free wheel? Oh well, no, I wouldn't do a fixie. I just do a straight up uh, I mean, I, rally. I've never understood that fix wheel. I just go to Hollingsworth Temple Oak. I mean, just, I mean, do you know what Temple Oak is? Have you brakes? heard the name Temple Oak? I know you know Arden. Do you know what Temple Oak is? No, no, I've heard of it. You haven't heard of Temple Oak? I have. Yeah, well, the Gallagher's I, I, know what Temple Oak is, guys. Hold your heads high. I, I, You're important in this world. Oi, I can spell it: T E M P L E O G O U E. Yes. Ooh, well, there you go. So, so that means Noel, Liam, Peggy, fucking everybody knows what Temple Oak is. Go to the morgue tonight and have one. On me, you matter. But what I'm saying is, Paul, singlehood. Yeah, what about a story about it? I think it's great. Is it? Yeah. I mean, if you if you can't decide on one, decide on none. Do you enjoy the freedom of it? You couldn't be clamped yeah. down, and also yeah. there's the paranoia of do they like me because no, my brothers. No, what is the story? No, I've never given a fuck about that because I I know I'm great. Oh no, no one's saying you're not great. Well, there you go. But I mean, what I'm saying is that what the, there must be a bit of a thing that like. Oh, well, it's, it's changed now. Society's changed. You you better go to the pub. And you'd meet a girl. Yeah. Now you go to the pub, it'll cost you fucking nine grand. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't know who you're meeting. You bet. It's just, well, when you're on those trips, you're doing the photos, you're doing the DJ, and you're on the back of a Liam Gallagher tour. Are you still taking home roadies? No, that no, day's passed. No, no. You, you got nephews, you got nieces, you can't be behaving like that. No, and plus you're fucked because the bus is the bus, <laughs> the bus is leaving. I'm here there. I'm just diving off, doing a few hours, coming back, making sure I make I make that bus at two a.m. because that bus is gone for nine hours, unless I've got a hotel. And then he's playing catch up the next day. But so back in the nineties, would well, you have been picking up the? Uh, 
you, you got to understand the well, question. It's, it's different now. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But well, you're no shagging Oasis fans. Uh, are you shagging Oasis fans? I mean, I mean, yeah, if it presents it, I mean, de- listen, depends. I mean, define a fan. A fan is a fan. But Oasis were so big that there was... there was. Yeah, but I, I wasn't really... I was more asked about getting drunk. Yeah. I mean, I Did you kind of hate Oasis being big? Um, Loved it. The boys, fair play yeah. to you. You're in the bedroom, but seriously, this is ruining my fucking life. Kind of, yeah, but... This I is mean, ruining my fucking life and my self-identity. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, there was, there, was, there was rules when there wasn't rules. You can't do this, you can't do that. Why would you have rules based off what two others decided to do with their career? That's my question. How well, do you yeah, how do you rationalize well, well, that? The, the rules wouldn't come from them; it'd come from other their agents. They should have yeah, got two well, fingers they, up their arse. Be, well, no, and they try to get rid of you. That was the the deal. They try to get rid of everyone connected to that band. It was very weird, a very weird time. But their key years, twenties and thirties. To have some guy in a bedroom with an acoustic guitar and some complete charismatic enigma singing it, you're probably the guy who gave them a lot of the humour. You all knew each other well. They decided to do uh, it. And suddenly the control of your family is getting taken out of your hands. The tabloids. Their haircuts, uh, were, more, know, no, their t- their haircuts were more important than t- Princess Diana and shit. It was disgusting. Yeah, the tabloids hey, your mother's kids were being talked about every mm, fucking day. What kind of life are no we talking about here? With, what a waste of time. No, 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 no fun with the tabloids, I'm afraid. And, and I, I still hate them. Every one of them. And I think I've told a few of them. It's a long life concept. Why do they do what they do? Why do they do what they do? Because they've got... Cause they've got no talent? No, they've got bosses who've got an agenda. But why Why enter tabloid journalism? Back in the day, back in that heyday, how did they not know this is wrong ethically? Of course, I mean, you know, you know when, they, you know when they, they tap your phones and everyone was going uh, phone yeah. hacking? They hacked my phone. But the yeah. last thing I was doing was going to fucking tell them they've hacked my phone because I, I know how they work. They'll fucking carry on hacking you. So I just kept quiet. Yeah, I mean they try to get they try to get access to my bank account to find out how much money I had in it. I mean, I've you know, I mean, so they can write a story about it. No, so they can write a story based on how much you either get yeah, off yeah, them yeah, or how yeah, you're left well, out well, of the exactly, whole thing. Exactly, and I just find it offensive. So if there's any tabloid, I mean, I know who they are, the tabloid journals, uh, but I did say at the time it's a long life cons, and I know your name, so. That's not a threat. That's Do you ever check saying, them out now? Do you ever check them no, out now? No, no, no. But if I ran into them on the street, which but what, I, which, what would which they I've be up to now? Are they still tabloiding oh, or what? Well, what does that level of journalism get you long term? Oh, fuck knows. I, mean, I think there was one of them that worked for the Tories, didn't he? Andy, whatever you call him, he ended up in jail, didn't he? They threw him under the bus. Yeah. There's a certain level of bus that you will go under when you work for them people. You're working for them, and they're keeping you out. Of, you might be hacking phones and doing shit, but they've got shit on you. You're only there for a certain amount of time before you're not needed anymore. And you'll find yourself strangled by a cord off a tree. What? Just accidental yeah. death. That kind of vibe. So there, you careful what you wish for when you go... There would have been times, I presume, where, where, where you, you wish there was another fucking sibling. If you're connected to a big band back then, nobody schooled you for that. Nobody taught you for that was coming. Nobody knew. It was just well, blind. Is yeah, the whole my dad yeah. hit me shit a bit over it? Well, I mean, it happens, doesn't it? I mean, they, these are young men that have kids that don't really want to have kids. Mm. You know, have no idea of the world itself. But because of the Catholic Church, and, oh, you got to be a certain age, you got to yeah, be married, yeah, yeah. you, you got to settle down. And by eighteen, oh, you got to settle down. So they just yeah, you so can't so write that one until she's so, so, so so in a way that the Catholic Church passed on the abuse. Fault. The Catholic Therefore, Church passed on the abuse. Yes. It wasn't Tommy Gallagher. No, Tommy no, Gallagher no, no, had no. fucking pressure on his shoulders, and he didn't want to be this guy. Society, yeah. You leave school at 15, 16. By 18, you've got to be married. 21, you've got to be fucking rich. Like, yeah. Who puts these rules in place? Yeah. You're still a child, technically. You've got little fucking screamy cunts going, I want steak. And you're going, I don't even want it. It's yeah. fucking weird. And I'm trying to make a joke out of it, but the Catholic Church has got a lot to answer for, especially in Ireland. But is there ever a stage of feeling sorry for the... No. What for? Because he was the victim of that culture, I mean, yeah, I understand and his that, kids went on to be fucking. Uh, yeah, so what? I mean, it's, it's like Stockholm syndrome, isn't it? I mean, what you're doing? Shake hands with your kidnapper. Sorry, mate, it wasn't your fault. But here's, here's a few quid. Go and have yourself. You, you wouldn't think there's any argument for just giving him fifty grand to shut. Give me fifty grand to shut me up. Fuck off, <laughs> mate. In fact, am I getting expenses today? It cost me money again. Standing. If you died tomorrow, what, what, what's really death shit? I'm very much alive. Because you have an iconic quote uh, on our 100th episode. Oh, really? We oh. did a montage of all the great guests who've been on. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm great, am I? Yeah. Ah, according, great. according to MA Show listeners, but there's a, there's a moment in which I ask you, do you fear death? Mm. And you quite profoundly say, and it's still uttered in the, the streets of 
for, from Kim and to Rap Minds, people are still quoting it. There's Mag- tattoos saying, Magadishu. for what? With Boris in power, I want it to come tomorrow. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. You, 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 you're that? fearless. And did, say, I, did I say that? People change. Did, 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 did you not self-impose that quote? Uh, no, no, it was a few years ago. Oh, and no, it, I, I, I don't, but what I, don't I will remember. say, if you died tomorrow... I don't care, mate. If yeah, I die, I die. We, yeah, we get that. My, my neighbor. No, you've done that. No, you're not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get as profound as last time. But what I will say is that they'd be getting the band back together, and they'd be hugging each other, <laughs> and the paps would be outside. They'd both be at it, and suddenly the feud would be over. This doesn't exceed life or death. This is not Cain and Abel, and I'm not. I'm not a blood sacrifice. You care about your nephews? No, they they kind of find in the way in music. Are they good? Um, I don't know. Have you listened to any of their their tracks? Well, I've not had anything to listen to that's that I deem worthy to play. I mean, we have a little bit of a ding dong. Are they going for the black country new road kind of shit? What are they going for? I don't, I don't know, mate. I'm I've, I'm, I'm into uh, melody. I've not heard that, that stuff. I mean, listen. Not everyone joined a band is going to be banging. He, he's, he's young. they're very young, and we'll see. We'll see where they go, mate. I'm I'm interested, but I'm not fucking. You know. Do you think that the capability to write culturally significant music, a la uh, those knows? two fuckers who live in the room next to you, who, by the way, ruined your life? <laughs> who knows? I don't know. I don't follow it that closely. I mean, define a rock star now. I mean, you got the guy from the Foo Fighters who broke his ankle, got on stage, played a gig. Do you like Father John Misty? I like, yeah, but his his new record's difficult. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It got rave reviews. I went, who the fuck is listening? Who's reviewing this? I mean, you love his first four records. This his first four fun. records are fucking and remarkable. I've gone, this is gonna, it's gonna be like, I think it's a Fleet Foxes moment. Their last record was a bit difficult, but when I got into it, I loved it. And I think it's gonna be like that. It's not gonna be instant. The cunt's playing us. Did you go to the gig the other night? No, I'm not going to the barbecue. You knew it was on though. Posh cunts, I'm not going yeah. down there. Anymore. Is that is that that's a posh cunt thing to do? Yeah, I've, I've done a photo shoot down there for, for a while ago, and I remember them trying to usher me out, and I was I was just trying to dodge them. Why are you always getting ushered out of places? Because do you I think it might be you. Yeah, it could be me. I mean, you're, I, I, you're I, I, getting I, ushered I, out of more places than I've ever <laughs> fucking heard. I know, but I mean, they're trying to us, usher me. Oh, the show is starting on Theatre One, and I'm like going, mate, I only want the fucking stairwell in this gaff because it's red and the carpet's red, and I've got this shot in mind. And can you really fuck off and go and usher them fuckers drinking coffee over there into the place? You know the way you got a you got a pretty heavy Instagram following and you do pictures on. Do you get paid for them? Who? There's young women who are getting their arse out hmm. and betraying every single value, and they get like thirty thousand followers. You've got yeah. whatever sixty. You take a few. Do you get Do you get money for ta- for your no. Instagram? No, it's just no, a bit no, of banter. No. Yeah, no. They, they come up to me the other day. I mean, I posted something on a, a, a pea milk and my mate's coffee thing, and they went, uh, "We think that's branded content." I went, "Really." Mr. Fucking Oddbot Motherfucker. How about you giving me all the fucking fans back that you shat about me for the last two years because I said something that you don't like? Yeah. Fuck off, bots. You're you're pretty active on Instagram. Uh, well, you have to be because I have a post to show on show onto there and then connect it on. So that's kind of yeah. I ignore Twitter. Twitter's full of fucking idiots. You say anything there, someone has a, a fair hissy fit. I don't like what you said about that raspberry. Uh, what the fuck is it got to do with you? They come out. They come out. You like you like the red arrows. You know them aeroplanes yeah. in the sky. They, whoosh, they come at you from all angles. If singlehood is the answer going forward. You, you've no intention of settling down with a partner. Fuck no, it. What no. for? Yeah. Unless I've been decapitated. Both me knee. Both me legs have been chopped. I mean, I mean even I, even if I can get. Listen, I've had smashed ankles before, so I can get around. Why have you had smashed ankles? Oh, don't I've... don't go on about your sporting career. <laughs> don't claim this is sport link Gallagher no, you couldn't it, fucking you, you couldn't of, move about it's kind of connected to a uh, weekend away I was in uh, where was I mm, it's kind of after that it's the aftermath of a weekend your week- ankles were fine your I ankles mean, were fine well, I'm not no, having no, no, it no, I'm no, not no, having well, it well no I've got I've got seven seven screws and uh, three plates in one of them uh, yeah but but, uh, but no interest in a long term partner would wreck your no. head no what for I mean it, company <laughs> Get a cat if I want company. I get a dog and go, hey, messy, you not, do you, do you, make me tea. Do you not like the idea of someone challenging you? Someone what going, Paul? No, no, I, no, I'd hate that. What the fuck. Get do you out. love the freedom? Yes. Yeah. I, I can't. Can you imagine me sitting down with him and no. her, him and her, reading, no. a, reading a book with like no. wireless headphones, looking at fucking Cory? Well, well, it's not the fifties. No, I do get you, but the modern version, I do we've understand. Both got Bluetooth headphones, and we're going. Yeah. Hey, what's Rita? It's, yeah. like, it's not going to fucking work. Richard's back, we're and not, Maxine's in trouble. I, I've not seen it for years since someone died called Liam years ago. Seven, eight. Who knows? Do you, do you, you generally enjoy having your own yeah, rhythm to go to? Exactly. Imagine. Do you Im- think you're arrogant? No. <laughs> do you? 
No, I don't think you're arrogant, though, but I think there's a... Thing. No one's changing your mind. Nobody's changing your mind. Is that survival? Yeah. I mean... It's the only way you could survive. Well, listen, if I was growing up in an Irish Catholic family, you have a lot of people controlling what you do. And even when you don't fit into the sphere of, oh, why are you not married and having kids with you? Do yeah, do you get that question well, from, do you get no, that no, question no. from Peggy? No, 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 she doesn't. But she never, never done all that. But there is, I've got friends. And I don't ever question your sexuality. What? I never questioned your sexuality. No, I'm. Would fucking... Liam ever go to you, fuck Eve? <laughs> uh, I think the only time he did that when we got dressed up as uh, women at Alan McGee's wedding in, uh, in the Caribbean. <laughs> you said you enjoyed it too much, did he? Uh, yeah, well, we, uh, we had a disagreement in Los Angeles when I seen him the next time. Yeah. What happened? Oh, he was like, Are you fucking gay or what? I went, Listen, dickhead. We got me and Chris McCormack from Three Colors Red decided to be Alan McGee's bridesmaids yeah. at his wedding oh, no, in the Caribbean. Bad, no, because we went like Tony Curtis, some like it. Oh, we, we did not look like fucking women to anyone yeah. apart from the judge on the island. And you're not, you're not no, gay. No, 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 I'm not. Would you deny it if you were, though? That's uh, the question no, what the I fuck? got. What for? If I was gay, I'd say, right wing. Hands up, you're I'm right gay. Wing. You know what I mean? You're right wing. Give a fuck. What you what? wouldn't. You wouldn't. Do you like George Michael? Uh, he was all right. You like Thomas Hisselsberger? Who's he? He played for Villa, played for Germany. He's come out. I don't, I don't, you like Gareth Thomas? <laughs> you wouldn't come out if we were gay. Uh, it's just not the culture. Mancunian working class guitar hero slash Catholicism background, you'd no option. If you were hmm. gay, you'd have to hide it. Yeah, but you, you're living... That's fucking hard. It's tough. That's, that's fucking... But so is isolation, PG. Uh, do you wish there were some chicks on the right here with an no, iced coffee saying, no, go on, no, son? No, 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 that's not me. You get close and then you get, you know, it's one of them, it's one of them, one of them Blackpool tram. Have you had long moment. relationships? I've had a few of them. Six years, I think, is, is about the, that's the tip of the iceberg. Six years? You've, you've had six a relationship years. for six years? Yeah, it's, it's like the, the Did black, she break your heart? No, it's like the black the Blackpool tram moment in Corrie when Rita was there. With I thought you hadn't watched it. And just years. basically like, just like, fuck off. Under the tram seal. I mean, so no, no, you had a six-year relationship. A few of them, yeah. But what do you mean a few? Uh, a one, few of them. What's the longest? Six. It's always a six-year cut-off point. If you get to six, six years, six years is a long time. You're doing you fucking don't have, well. I mean, yeah, but that, that's that's when I was young and stupid. Now I'm old and cynical. You ain't There's get, definitely going to be some getting chick si- who logs along. You ain't she getting likes your six music weeks. She likes your way <laughs> you, you see the world. You She's ain't there. even getting six weeks of the last six years. You wouldn't even dare go on something like Tinder. No, no. What for? Hi. People who go on them things go because they've got no people skills. And that's why they go on them. Because it's easy. I think you've immense people I'd skills. I'd rather go to the pub. Yeah, I think you've immense oh, charm. Well, I, think you've immense I mean, and if, if I wanted to pick up but a girl, I think there's I'd something get a there. fucking dog. Everyone, you know, I mean, if you've got a dog. But you want to have sex, Paul. Well, I get a dog, go to the park, I get you can't shag your dog. dog. You can't shag your dog. Yeah, but dogs you get your dates. This isn't two and a half men, Paul. They this is reality. Dogs get you dates. No, it's no, true. No, no. I know There's loads something of ugly, there. There's I know something there. Where's, where's the ugly, women? I know loads of ugly people with dogs. I like, met this bird the other day in the park. She like she seemed like me poodle. It's like, what the fuck? But the deer now, a dog is two grand now. It used to be fucking niche. I like your style, but I believe you're an impossible guy. Oh, yeah, it's impossible to be figured you, out. No, no, not, not to be figured out, but mm. you know your way and no one's getting near it. No one's touching those emotions. Exactly. And how what, could what they? For? How could they? What You've for? been putting the back foot, yeah. Man's been keeping the options open for years. Yeah. You get, you got, you're you, strong you got, fucker. You got close. In, 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 in a way, there's a weakness, but in a fucking way, there's what, a strength. What, what, what's the weakness? The weakness is when do you open up? What for? Because everyone needs to have a talk. A talk. <laughs> everyone needs to have a talk. A Bobby. talk. No, no, no. Where the mods at? No, no, no. It's, it's, it felt, felt. Um, it was that kid who died from Sligo the other day. Yeah, red, was, red, that was, that red was, old fu- Murphy. That was fucking sad. And mm. I don't know what the ins and outs. It, but you can kind of guess it's kind of a mental health suicide. I don't thing. know the ins and outs, but no, all no, I know is that he could play football. Yeah, he could be. Re- yeah, that's sad. Mm-hmm. Like Eighteen or something, fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. And I've seen people afterwards going, if you're in trouble, you should talk. So you can see how, where, it, where it kind of is. But that is fucking sad. How can you not talk at 18? Yeah. I mean, I'm, and I've had, I've had friends in Ireland that done What's the same What's the lowest thing. you've been? Not going to Nebworth, all that bollocks. There must have been a time. No, went, trying, I, I, do, you, do you remember the memoir? I went, went to Tunisia. What was it, 96? The went, memoir. Went when you, tun- you, wrote, you wrote that, Tunisia I'm writing stead. this because I need to survive my self-identity. Uh, yeah, well, that was, was that money? Was no, that money? That, that, that was more... That was more... Been persuaded to write. I wasn't really asked about that. No, that was part of. Uh, yeah, 
Maybe if I had my time again, I wouldn't have written it. Did Nolan and Liam want you to do that? No, they wanted to kill me. Okay. <laughs> okay. There was there was no brotherly love. There was like, fuck off, you. And you went in the late, late. What was Gay Byrne like sitting up to? He was a cunt. Was he? Yeah. Gay Byrne's a cunt? Yeah. You're going to upset a lot of Irish listeners. Uh, you don't give a fuck. No, yeah. be, when, when you go into... Gay Byrne was a cunt. Paul Gallagher, April 2022. No, 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 no. Because you go in them places and they ask you beforehand, is there any questions you're not comfortable with? Say it now, and we had and my father's family you for me, so you know, you'd there'd be certain things you wouldn't want, yeah. and you'd say, I don't want to talk about that, and I don't want to talk about yeah. that. And the, 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 a little I watch fucking your once a shitty bell end, the Green Craft Code in Ireland, he'd fucking stitch you up. And I've, I've seen I've seen the clip doing the rounds recently, I, I never look at anything I've been on or back. That was the night I met Jerry Adams, he was there, and Martin McGuinness in the <laughs> green room, and oh, and Christy Moore, were they strapped up? No, but including I mean, Christy Moore, no, 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 were they strapped up? No, no, but this is surreal. So you're coming in a taxi, you're coming into RT Studios in Paul's Bridge, and then you notice these fellas in the trees, and they're fucking troops, obviously. The what? Irish, the Irish army are in the trees. No, really though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're looking up in going, around Donnybrook, yeah. Paul's Bridge, that kind of area where. It... <laughs> yeah. So you're looking up going, the fuck is going on here? Hello, there's cunts with arms and camouflage in the trees. They're in the trees. But they're in the trees, and I'm thinking... Are you seeing those things? No, no. Nobody, Are you dipping into the drugs no, no, in the no, oasis? No, 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 nobody tells you, Christy Moore, Brian Adams and Martin McGuinness are in the studio. No, Jerry Adams, sure. Oh, Jerry Adams. Adams. No, bro, fucking Huge Brian. difference. He comes out with his hand. He gives the hand, and he goes, good luck with your book. And I'm going... Good luck with yours. Oh, Jerry. were you promoting the book at this time? Yes, that's what it fucking was about. Gallagher, you rushed. And then that. you got Martin McGuinness. Gallagher, you rushed that. Yeah, you got Martin McGuinness with his steel eyes looking through you as if to say McGuinness was a genuine politician. No, no, I know, but he, 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 the fucking look, he like he, he kind of pierced your soul. It would you be. know, not because if you didn't say good luck with your book, Jerry, back in the fucking perfect time, you could see him just going, "I'm going to kill you." What do you make of Maggie Thatcher? Maggie Thatcher, the milk snatcher. She stole our milk in 1972, didn't she? We were getting a little bottle of milk, tiny little thing, in our primary Do school. Do you think she was a good politician? No, I don't think she was a good politician. I think she was a Tory cunt that told the world off. Would you and ever vote Tory? Never. I don't vote any of them, Labour or Tory. Ah, voting's a waste of time, says you. Well, listen, if, if voting mattered, it'd be le- illegal. It doesn't matter who you vote for. They're what all the same. What were you thinking when um, they went up and they endorsed Tony Blair at the Brits? Well, see, McGee, Al McGee, he was, um, he's, mm. a, he's a Labour supporter as well. Oh, yeah. And he gives Are you still in touch with McGee? Yeah, I still touch with you know, McGee's a friend of the show. I wouldn't give them anything. Why are you giving the establishment money? Why are you giving them airtime? I don't, I mean, I'm not, you know, I got no buzz off it. I was like, lying bastards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many fucking years have you got? You can't trust politicians. I mean, right, for instance, let's go, let's do this. The moral way. Everybody knows a footballer. True? Yeah. Everybody knows a pop star. Mm. Everybody knows fucking, I don't know, somebody who works in Tesco. Nobody yeah. knows a politician. They don't sit with you. You don't no. see him in the local. You never go, uh, uh, Henry, can I talk to you about that parking issue? Yeah. You don't fucking see them. They're yeah. like ghosts. It's a gang of cunts, isn't it? What do we get put? Listen, up. He's, he's probably... Um, what do we get put? Well, he's dealing with cunts, isn't he? What do you think make if it was a man? Strong? Brave? Oh, I, I wouldn't be... F- I mean, he rides bears in the woods. Are you, do, can, do, can you do see... Do you think he's evil, Paul? Uh, no. I think he's Why? protecting his country. What about people who turn around and say he's a fucking animal? Yeah, he's well, savage. He's well, barbaric. Cool. I just say... And he's a power freak. Ah, uh, cool. I say, look at Syria, Afghanistan, Libya, Iraq. They're all connected. America. America. The American military. Seven trillion they've stolen off the American people to buy arms to rule the world. Well, how about ruling your own fucking country? I'd like Russia, just for the crack now, don't be fucking quoting me on this, yeah. going to the other end of Russia and firing a few rockets into Alaska just for, <laughs> just for the crack. Yeah. Say, how do you like that then, dickhead? You know what I mean? So the Yanks are the source of all evil. Of course they are. They've been at war. So capitalism's the problem, Paul. Yeah, they've been at war since 1776. If you ask Noel to go for a pint and said, Liam isn't coming, he's not coming. (laughs) Do you want to go for a pint in the King's Arms? Would he show up? No. Say, I want to talk to you. Just go, I've prostate cancer. No. I've prostate cancer. No. no. He wouldn't go if he'd prostate? No. Strange family. (laughs) 
<laughs> but a family that influenced all of our lives. And, and I know, but still fucking strange on a, on a, on a ground. We'll on get a there. Day we'll level. get there. I speak for the listeners here because I, I don't want to make them think like we didn't leave it all out there. I just want to ask you one more time. Oh. Is it over? That's it. Is Darling, it? I've just finished my dinner. Oh, come on, what? is it done? What? No, done. you're the mediator. You're the only guy who's a sibling to both. We're yeah. all just fans. You can do something. Nothing's Manics. happening. Nothing's I happening. I can't do anything. Nothing happening. Liam's fucking flying. Yeah, well, no one's saying no one's not flying. Can you not say to Liam, would you give him a text? No, we've done this before. You've given him a text. He's blanked it. We've done it before. There's been a text that's been blanked. Yes, we've been done it before. There's been messages left and been ignored. Mm. He's just fucked up. Yeah. All right, we'll fuck him. Way with the fairies. All right. Paul Gallagher, an absolute pleasure to have you on. Again. Again. I, did, I didn't even slag... I didn't even kick your heads in about... Where, where, where are you in the league? Seventh. I, I predicted you'll finish eighth. Yeah, well, hopefully, because I don't want to be in the Conference League next season. Paul Gallagher. <laughs> listeners, hope you enjoyed him. Thank you for coming on. Sort that fucking feud out. Do what you can. I'm sick of it. Listen, there's nothing wrong with my food, F O. No, you're fucking feud. No, 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 no feud. No feud will You can do more on. than what you're doing. What do you mean I could do more? Listen, it's done. It's stubbornness. They've left. It's immaturity, guys. They've recorded all the, all the, all the songs he needs to record. It's not about music. They've, well, it is. They've done all that. It's done. You've got your music. Get fucking on with it. And buy a t shirt on the way out. I'll see you again. Amazing. Cheers. See you later. It's been how many years, my oh, boy? Oh, your milk started. You still boots. don't know my tears of joy. No need to go, just take Radio it cast. slow. Podcast. And have you heard the Michael Anthony show? Makes me see the light. What about those tears? Tears believe my eyes. The hell's it make a fair? Makes me feel 